cancers happen when a mutation happens in DNA. And there are mutations all the time happening in our cells in our body. Well, if by luck of the draw, a mutation happens in a gene that controls growth, that causes a cancer. And when it happens in one of the cells in the brain, that's a brain cancer. And depending on which gene is altered and how it's altered, tells us how that cancer is driven. And so when we talk about pathways, we're talking about the individual signaling molecules within the cell that are telling the cell what to do, that are telling the cell how to live and how to divide. And if we block one of those pathways, it causes stress. And those cancer cells say, hey, something's wrong. I've got to stop dividing. Or I have to kill myself. And that's what we're looking for, is we're looking to identify what to target within the individual cancer cell. So we're not just targeting a cell because it's dividing. We're targeting a molecule that's responsible for growth. It's like if you're doing a renovation in your house, you have a diagram of the electric system. And so a good electrician can come in and know if he cuts one wire here, he can cut off all the electricity in your house. And it's the same thing here. We're trying with these technologies to identify the wiring system of that cancer cell. So we know where to cut off and we know what drug or what in our arsenal to use to turn off that on switch and benefit the patient.